Hey guys and welcome back to Maths for Tuesday. Um, today you are going to be using your protractors, okay? So hopefully um, you guys got one over the weekend or your mum and dad found one because this will be really useful for you guys um, for today. Um, so what you're going to be learning today is actually how to use one of these. You're going to watch a video on... Um, you know, what numbers to look at, where to place it, how to use it, okay? Um, and then you are going to create, and then you're going to actually look at your own name and find the angles, okay? So your learning intention is, I'm learning how to construct my own angles and measure with a protractor or online device, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, I can write my name and measure the different angles, labeling the angle and the degree, which is super important to label what it is, okay? So before you start measuring your angles with degrees, you must first learn how to use a protractor, okay? Again, you are learning how to do this. You might have done this last year. Um, it may take you a few times to actually do it, so please don't get too frustrated and just give up, okay? Um, it will take you a little bit of time to get used to using one of these, okay? Um, so you need to watch this video on how to use a protractor. You need to write down any of the things that they talk about, so any of the key points. So where should I be looking at? Where should I be putting my protractor when I'm measuring? things up okay um, and then you'll need to read through the lesson on math space um, this one it's got a lot of writing in it but it is pretty important again read through it write down any um, notes that you can pick up from it um, which is super important to help you actually identify use one of these um, and now after you've done all that then you are going to actually find angles okay so on the next page here is an example of a name, so James, um, that has been written um, using a ruler to rule it up, okay? As you can see, they've done it on um, grid paper as well, um, which you guys have the option to use um, either in your maths book or um, you can print one out that we give you guys. Um, and you need to make sure that you rule it up properly, okay? So you need to make sure you have a ruler for this too, okay? As you can see, they've done all the different degrees, that uh, all the angles that they can find, okay? And they've actually circled it, they've written the degrees, what I also want you to do is actually write the degrees and then write what it is next to it. So it could be right angle, it could be um, an obtuse, okay, and stuff like that. Um, and when you're doing that, you need to watch um, this video that I have made. I actually demonstrate how I find the different angles on my name, okay? So you need to make sure you do watch that video. I do apologize if the quality is not the best I had to film on my phone. Um, and then if you do not have a protractor at home, hopefully you all do. Um, but if you do not, you will be watching this video on me demonstrating for you guys how to actually use it. Okay. It is a little bit tricky. Okay. Um, I do try to explain it in really good detail but again if you have any issues just email me and just let me know okay um, but make sure you watch the videos it is super important that you watch all the videos I don't want to have anyone questioning me until the, after they've watched all the videos okay um, again with your name you can um, you know make it a little bit colorful it doesn't have to be just black and plain um, you can like maybe do I don't know you can decorate it however you like as long as we can see the lines, um, the angles, um, and, and the degrees and stuff like that. So make sure it's very visible, okay? Um, but other than that, that's it from me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.